All right, fourth graders, it's time to take notes on lesson 7.8. Today we'll be using a number line or renaming a mixed number to help us subtract. So, let's take this word problem. Bruce, Chandler, and Chase go bike riding on weekends. On one weekend, Chase rode his bike for three hours. Chandler rode her bike for two and one-fourth hours. And Bruce rode his bike for one and three-fourths hours. How much longer did Chandler ride her bike than Bruce did? Now, let's notice a couple things here. If we look at the two fractions that we're supposed to subtract, the whole numbers, two can take away one, but if you notice, can one take away three? No. This numerator cannot take away that numerator. So that's why we're going to use a number line in order to subtract. That's one strategy we can use. So let's look down at our number line here. First it says, shade the model to show how long Chandler rode her bike. Well, Chandler rode her bike for two and one-fourth hours. So shade in one, two... And two and one fourth line is right here. Okay. Now it says, then shade the model to show how long Bruce rode his bike. Well, he rode his bike one and three fourths hours. So let's shade in one and then three fourths. One and three fourths is right here. Now it's asking us to think, what is the difference between two and one-fourth right here and one and three-fourths? Well, I see that the difference is two-fourths. Let me write that a little darker. Two-fourths. So Chandler rode her bike two-fourths hour longer than Bruce did. Now, when you're using the number line strategy, you need to be careful to look at your denominators and make a number line that will match your denominators and help you, right? We can't just go by whole numbers. Okay, so that's one strategy you can use to help you subtract fractions or mixed numbers when the two numerators aren't cooperating with you. Let's take a look at another strategy. Another way. Rename both as improper fractions, then subtract. So what we mean is, let's look at this problem right here. 5 and 1 eighth take away 3 and 3 eighths. Now, once again, our numerators, 1, cannot take away 3. So what this strategy is saying is you're going to need to rename both of these mixed numbers as improper fractions. So, if you remember from earlier lessons, you multiply in the bottom and add the top. Five, eight times five is 40, plus one is 41. Denominator stays the same. Take away, multiply in the bottom, add the top, eight times three, is 24 plus 3 is 27. Denominator stays the same. Okay, so now we need to take away 27 from 41. Use mental math to go to 30 and then go to 40 and then one more would be 14 eighths. Now, usually you don't leave your answers as improper fractions. Usually the directions are going to ask you to change it into a mixed number. So while this is your answer in improper fraction form, let's change it into a mixed number. Remember, you take the numerator, divide it by your denominator. So 8 goes into 14 one time. That's your quotient. That's your big number. 
Your remainder, which is 6, is your numerator, and your denominator stays the same. Okay, let's practice another one with this strategy. So let's rename both of these so that they are improper fractions. So first one, 4 times 6 plus 1. Well, 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Denominator stays the same. Take away 4 times 3 plus 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. Denominator stays the same. Now you just subtract the numerators. 25 take away 14 is 11. Denominator stays the same. Now, this is our improper fraction answer. Let's change it to a mixed number. I'm going to show my work down at the bottom. Remember, take your numerator, divide it by your denominator. 11 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Take that away, and that's 3. So you get 2 remainder 3. Your quotient is your big number. Your remainder is your numerator, and your denominator stays the same. So, whichever strategy you'd like to use for the practice problems is up to you. You could use a number line, like we did first, depending on the denominator, or you can rename both fractions as improper, follow the operation, subtracting, and then turn it back into a mixed number as your final product, or as your final difference, sorry. Either one. You can rewatch the video to review either strategy. Here are your two practice problems. You have two tonight. So your first one is a word problem about trumpets and cornets. Hmm. Cornets are bass instruments. That's a new instrument to me. And then number two is just the mixed number problem. So one word problem, one straightforward problem. All right, have a good night.